what's good, crazy squad? It's your boy, Crazy Emulation. Um, I'm ready to do this request for you guys because I know y'all want to learn how to play online with the RPCS3 with the private service by PS1. Um, so pretty much is let's start it from here. I was gonna need the emulator, and you also need to join PS1's Discord that does the servers for PS3. Um, so the good thing about this is just um, these are cross played with the actual PS3 servers that they revived back. So you will be playing with also people that's on PS3 that uses the same DNS code because obviously these servers are shut down. Um, but let's go ahead and get started here. So everything I'm doing, I will leave in the description, the Discord, um, I was the emulator, and then my Discord name. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to help you out. Um, if you rather make a Discord, then I will make a Discord where y'all can just pop in, at me, and we can go from there, all right? So, obviously, we need to load the PS3 emulator. Um, normally, I would just boot my game sitting right here. I would just double-click it, but we'll just go ahead and boot it up regularly so that way we get a fresh start screen for you. So, let's load our PS3. All right. So, the games that are online as of right now are, which we're going to go to the Discord. So this is the Discord which you're going to get um, in my description. Games that are online. Warhawk, Twisted Metal Black, Wipeout HD, PlayStation Home is not yet up yet, but it's on its way. Um, SOCOM, um, at the moment, this is only for PS3. They're still working on RPCS3. It's not available yet. Um, Ratchet and Clank, Killzone 2, uh, Resistive Form. Um, um, obviously, if it kills on two, um, just check out my last video that way you can get an idea of how it works. Um, Motor Storm, uh, you be a lot, you will get some nice matches in Motor Storm. Calling all the cars, Pain, um, Bag is work in progress. Um, I'm very excited for this. And SoCon 4 is also a work in progress. Um, so I'm very excited for definitely Mag. I'm really excited to play that. They, oh my goodness, like the hype for this will be awesome to play again. So, why you need the Discord for two things? Well, probably three things. One, uh, that way you can get the latest updates on what's coming out, fixing servers, maintenances, things like that. Two, the house to see who's playing. That way we got the room. It's so like, oh, you can see who's online right now. Like, uh, let's go ahead and see little events that they're probably doing. Um, the cool thing about this server is you, if you want to see who's online about logging in, they have bots that way you can just go ahead and be like, okay, who's online? So like if I did a perfect example here, if I did, um, let's do at, oops, let's do at war, I can't tell you my apologies, let's do at warhawk online, it shows how many people's online. That's how that is. Now, if you want to see now, if you want to see if there's lobbies available, um, I think well, everyone's just each bot is different. I want to say it's host. Yes. So that way you see what lobbies is live right now. Tell how joyful people's on all this stuff. That's how. That's pretty cool. Like it works out really nicely. Um, so that's two, three. When you set up your emulator. Now, I'm going to go to RCPS3 first. That way, we can go in a certain order before you need to use this Discord. Because you're going to need this Discord at a certain point. So, let's go back to the emulator. Now, to set up the RPCS3 online, this is what you have to do. First, you need to go to Configuration. And you go to RPCN. You go to Accounts. You're going to make an account. You're going to do all this to make an account. Um, pretty much is from already created account. You'll get a token and everything. Normally when you create an account, you have like an email and all this stuff. You're just gonna create an account and you hit this button and everything can be set. I already have my stuff set up. That's why I'm already here. Um, then I'll send you a token. That way you know how to put your token in. Once that's in, you just hit save. And then you're set. The friends option is um, obviously when you see your RPC and friends, um, that is a thing that's working right now. Um, I just have not used it yet, but I know it works. Um, and 
bet. Let's go to Asley. Make sure you control the setup. I was always using the dual sense and things like that. Now, the next thing you can, I was this, everyone has their game config set differently. Um, I do recommend you can do it. I was do it for everything first and then do your custom config. Um, you're just going to network and this is the DNS that's going to put in every server. I mean, every game uses this DNS code in this server. So you're just going to set them just like that. Your network status needs to be connected and PSN status needs to be set to RPCN. That's how it's supposed to be set. Just like that. All right. Now, this is the part where I say you need to discord because you're when you first boot these up, you're not going to be access to the server yet. It's going to boot you out. So I don't have none that's like that now because I have access to every server, but this is a perfect example. So say you boot up the game. So I boot up Warhawk, for example. So I'm logged in successfully. Um, but this is here's what I'm booting up. Now, like I said, when you try to log into the online, it's not going to boot you in automatically. It's going to kick you out and give you some error code. The reason why? Because you need to get whitelisted first so they can put you into the server. Um, the reason why is because it's obviously going to avoid like overloading issues. Sometimes people download the emulator and try to crash the server instantly. If you put it in a certain way, that it doesn't affect the server. So it's like, yeah, you're white. It doesn't take long. It can happen. But yeah, it's like if you go online, it's not going to do this. You're going to get an error message. It's not going to let you log in. It lets you know, welcome back to the revival server. You know, so it's pretty nice. And obviously, you know, if I go ahead and check out the, so I go ahead and go to the join game, check out the list, you can see where everybody's running. So, how to get whitelisted? That's when you join the Discord that I'll leave in the description. All you're doing is going to the Discord, go to ticket support, and what you're doing is when you open a ticket. You're going to go ahead and put your RPC in username, just exactly how you have it. And you tell them the games that you want to be whitelisted in. That's it. You're hitting create ticket, put your RPC in as our um, user ID and choose the game names that you put in. You just say, my username is this. I said, can I get whitelisted for Killzone, Motorstorm, whatever game you're trying to play, they will whitelist you for. And then once they whitelist you, you'll be able to have access to every game just by booting the game up and logging in. That's literally it. So, um, and at that point, that's all you have, really have to do. It's really, it's not as hard as it is. Um, if you do run any issues, you can just hit me up. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but like I said, as of right now, this is all the games that we have for now that's online. Um, it is pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. If you have any other questions, obviously just hit me up on Discord, um, and I'll help you out as best as I can. Um, if you guys would like a tutorial on how to play SOCOM PS2 on your PC, I can do that as well. Um, same thing with SOCOM PSP, or if you want to go back real old school, we can go back to even more PS2 games. Yeah, these PS2 right online right now is massive. There's a ton of games you can play. That won't be a problem. I can help you out with that as well. Like, or, I mean, we're talking about a lot of games like Hot Shots, Blitz, NBA Ballers, Tony Hawk on the ground, more combat are we getting. Like, there's a lot of games back for PS2 online emulation. Um, I can help you set that up as well. Um, if you also need another tutorial on the Switch online, I can also help with that. That's only with PC versus PC. Uh, that way, you get an idea of that as well. But that's all for today. Um, like I said, just give me a like, um, subscribe, please, and thank you.
And don't forget to keep giving me requests on whatever games y'all want me to test and run because I got a lot of free time. I'm willing to help. So please let me know. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.